We are creating commercials in order to really get the word out there to represent AT&T Belize program. We've been capturing footage in Chicago, Dallas, and Atlanta. The filming is genuine, it's authentic, things that are actually happening in these cities. We do believe. We believe that there is something greater. This city and its people are worth understanding. There's so many kids who face the day when the day isn't going to be fair, and they do it with humor and strength and resilience. It's why I want to keep doing what I'm doing. If you can always find people in this day and time in a bad spiritual condition, right, and need some upliftment, and so I try to be there for them to give that. Seeing someone struggle and knowing that you have the answers to their struggle, that's what gets me up out of bed every morning. There's so many different factors why people become homeless. But I have a four-year-old little girl, and she really needs her daddy. I gotta do whatever it takes to get back on my feet. That could be me. That could be any of us. I believe that Dallas is a strong city with strong people who are out there to make things better. I love this work, it's my passion. I'm not a saint, definitely, but this is probably about the only thing that's gonna get me in the pearly gates. <laughs> Don't know if people really understand how bad some of these kids have it, and their stories aren't told. We wanted to flip that term at risk, because we don't feel like our kids over here are at risk. We feel like they are full of promise, and we're gonna help them reach their full potential. Everyone needs that. I think everyone needs to know that they're unique and special and that their voice counts. It changes the dynamic. Before we had programs like this, my friends would like run around the street doing stuff they weren't supposed to do, and this gives us something to do that's productive, a reason to do something better. One of my favorite things about what we're doing is we are hiring people in the communities themselves that, that are really struggling. I got a walkie-talkie with my name on it now, you know? That's improvement. That's good. I've actually learned a lot today. They showed me all the different lights, how much power it takes to actually run all this. You have a huge, huge generator that takes up a whole trailer. I gain confidence, a lot of confidence in myself. Because in my neighborhood, a lot of people don't believe in themselves. They believe what other people believe about them. I believe in myself now, for real. It actually means a lot that there's people out there willing to help. Don't give up now. The work that we're doing here with the three cities is really to help start the Belize Program movement to create awareness that there are a lot of people in their community helping solve systemic problems and we all have to jump on board to create change. The community is faced with a lot of issues and anybody that's willing to stand with the community through them issues, I mean, they my heroes. It takes a lot of teamwork and a lot of dedicated people to make things like this happen. We should do whatever we can to make wherever we are better. It's about helping people. Giving them tools to be successful, focused on those neighborhoods that are struggling, you can see the hope and the fire light up in their eyes. It's been life-changing because I'm seeing my community in a different way and how much of a difference you can make when you put a hand in to help. In order to have strong cities and strong communities, you have to, you know, believe in it. Bring it